Hey, Blaster back yet with another download save for you. This one is called Save Sam the Slug. This is kind of a puzzle game with a story involved, so RPG maybe? I don't know. It's just a different way of playing Satisfactory. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Sam was having a great day hunting pillberries and pissing off the doggos as normal. Let's go take a look at her. There's Sam. Sam is a purple one. And you can see here, Sam has hit an annoying boombox to piss off the doggos. Go ahead and continue the story here. Now in the download description, or in the description, you'll find the download to this save file. I'm not going to play it fully out here because once you know the answers, it's not as fun. So I'm going to go ahead and show you around a little bit behind the scenes, and then you can download it and try it for yourself. If you can see here, the doggos have had enough of Sam and threw him in jail. There's poor little Sam and Doggo Jail. So your goal is, Sam needs your help to escape Doggo Prison. Go on a quest to find the code to the jail cell. And here you can see we actually have the code to the jail cell. We enter that in and Sam should now escape and lead you onto the exit room. All right, let me go ahead and go through our first uh, puzzle. You can see here we have a pipe start instructions saying you basically connect the start to the end pipe. Do not delete any red pipes, do not empty any pipes, and do not go through walls. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your materials to build your pipes, and then you're going to start here, and you're going to try to find your way to the exit. But you notice you can't go through the walls, so you can't just go straight to the exit. You've got to figure out what pipe you can actually connect to to go. I'll go ahead and give you the very first one here. It's right there. You connect that pipe. You can see the water is flowing now. And you're now trying to figure out what maze of pipes will get you right here to the exit. And once you connect to the pipe end, this will now let you in the entrance and it will turn green and you moved on. You'll get a code segment. I'm going to go ahead and fly over this now. And you'll see right here I have a code room. Now there, there's a lot of logic going on. You're not going to see any of this. This is, like I said, behind the scenes. It's a pretty good sized map and a lot of cool little puzzles came in here. But every time you beat something, you'll go into this code room. You'll write down a piece of code and you'll get back to the exit. And you'll put in that code. Uh, nice little jump puzzle room. Not going to do that one here. I'll let, let, leave that for you. Uh, let's go over here to this room. This is a pretty cool one. This is uh, answer six questions on the far wall to exit. And you'll notice I put a bunch of power switches here with a bunch of items. But you'll see here we have six questions you need to answer by pulling the correct switches. Now, I will not kill you in this map. If you get one wrong, nothing happens. Just make sure you pull the right six switches and go on. And hopefully you at least attempt it without trying to pull every single switch in the room, which would also work, but it's not in the spirit of things. All right, let's move on to the next one. So I don't want to go into too much detail. There's a lot for you to kind of figure out on your own, but I'll help out with some of these. Uh, this puzzle here is a building recipe logic puzzle. For example, the first question it has is, what can raw quartz make? And what you're going to do here is you're going to connect a belt to the correct input of that answer. So you can see here, I put it here, the coal will flow, and then I use the output to go into another correct answer. So the other, next one is still ingot. First room, I don't mind giving you a couple answers. Of course, that's still pipe. I only have six choices here. But let's say I choose something wrong. I'm going to go ahead and throw it over to this guy. And then I'll bring this down here. So what's going to happen here, if you get an incorrect answer, You'll see the coal has flowed here, but it's not flowing out. So that's an incorrect answer. You need your coal to flow to the third answer to get it right here. So I'll take this one. The third answer is iron rods and screws will build rotors. So let me... Actually, let's do our second one first. We've got to do the pipe here. So let's do that one. And then we'll go to rotor. And you'll see here, as soon as I did that, the coal should flow, and we have a green light, and we can continue on. 
and there's going to be three different rooms. The second room, you see we have a lot more choices. The recipes got a little bit more complicated. In the third room, there's even more complication. I think there's 18 different items set up here. We got one, two, three, four, five, 12 items here. So this keeps getting harder and harder and move on. All right, let me show you the last puzzle here. All right, the last puzzle is probably one of my favorites. Basically, you need to catch this piece of coal. It's even taunting you here. You are too slow to grab me already. Because what we need to do is we need to put up one piece of coal into this box right here. But you'll notice it says compacted coal and other items do not count. So what you've got to do here is you've got to figure out how to catch that piece of coal. So I'm going to see when here comes something. And look, I just caught a piece of compacted coal. That won't work. I just missed that one. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a pretty fun game of trying to figure out the coal, and it will cut, touch every one of these belts eventually. So you can't just sit in one spot and 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 know the pattern. This is fairly random here. All right, that's pretty much it for Save Sam the Slug. Um, look in the video description for the download link. Um, put in your comments. Let me know how how your adventure happened. There's a lot of surprises I think as you play. Um, and I think you'll, you're going to like it. Um, it's, it's a different way to play Satisfactory. I like playing mini games. Once 1.0 comes out, I'll be back to Mega Factories. But until then, I'm still enjoying Satisfactory, trying to figure out new ways of, of using the game, creating some logic systems. And this is all vanilla. No mods were used here to create this level. So this, this works. Now, it does require experimental right now. I do need to point that out because... Um, I, I did use experimental to build it. Now, version 8 will come out to regular Satisfactory any day now, maybe even tomorrow. It's Monday right now. They usually release on Tuesday. Um, so, But you do need experimental to play this until version 8 is released. It is a version 8 save. All right, until next time, have a good one.